Hey everyone! So today I'm going to show you two different apps that I can use to get my hand-drawn line art onto my iPad and extract it from its background so that I can use it to create my flats and to paint with. If I'm bringing in a JPEG image, whether it be a scan or a photo of a hand-drawn design that I've made, I want to be able to extract or separate out the line art itself onto its own layer. So then I can go ahead and create my digital art with the line art being only one element of the piece. So I'm going to start with this free app called Metabang. This will be the first one I show you. This has a lot of tools, but my favorite is the ability to extract the line art right up front. So when I open the app, this is the window that pops up. I'm going to choose import and I'm going to choose browse and import from my photos. There I'm going to choose my camera roll and in here I have a picture that's a JPEG that I want. And there it is, it pops up. It gives me the option here, the background is white and I can extract lines. Then here it gives me settings. I find the settings they give you are pretty good so I usually don't adjust them too much. Then click done. And now we can either protect or don't protect the layer. It just locks it down. But you can see on the background of the layer that the white is gone and the lines are extracted. So now I go up to the top left and hit these multiple lines. I choose export PNG and then I want PNG transparent because I don't want the background to show. And then I save the image to my camera roll. Now that I've done that, I can exit this app and I want to open my Procreate app because this is where I love to design. So I'm going to create a new canvas and I like to create my own because I can control the uh, resolution. And then I'm going to insert flat image from photos, go to my camera roll and it's going to pop up and I know this black image, the one at the top was the one I just saved and there it is. This is my PNG and to prove it I go into my layers and you can tell by turning off the background there's no background. So I turn that back on and I can even change the background color which is what I wanted to accomplish with this. And if I select the line art and then I choose a color here, then I fill it, I've got a different color to my line art and how quick and easy that was. And if I zoom in here, it really picked up really good detail of my line art. It didn't miss any of the little pieces that I drew in. And then I can also make alterations to it because it's separate from the background. If I choose my eraser tool, I can just zoom in here and I can take out any of the line art if I change my mind about how I want it to look. So that's a really handy function to be able to have that line art completely separate from the background. So that's one method that I can get the line art into a different app that I want to use it with. I'm just going to go out of this, get rid of that so I can show you another one. So we'll go back into Medibang and my art is still sitting there. I'm going to show you a different method. So you back up to these little lines. This time I'm going to go return to the gallery and you want to make sure you save before you leave. So save and leave and it's going to put that image into your internal gallery. So you want to go here to internal and now you want to choose the share arrow on the bottom right. You want to choose PSD this time and it's going to ask you where you want to put it. I want to put it into Procreate. So you slide over till you find it, add to Procreate and it says sending to Procreate and then it'll be done. So now you have to close out the app and go back into Procreate. Now it's importing the artwork and it'll pop up as soon as it's finished. It depends on the file size. It takes a bit of time and there it is. So it will pop up and now our line art again is on a separate layer from our background. So we can try turning off the background. We can go in and select the line art and change the color of it. So see the great detail that comes up with. So we'll go in and select, create a new layer and we'll fill it. Oh, that didn't work there. Fill, there we go. And I've changed the color of the line art which just proves it's on its own layer. The nice thing about bringing it in as a PSD is that you get any other layers you might have worked on as well. So that's how we use Metabang. Now we're going to try a different app. So the next app I'm going to show you that I extract line art with is Autodesk Sketchbook. There is a free version of this and there's also a pro version but it will work in the free version. 
So in this app, we're going to scan our line art. So here I have a hand drawing that I did and inked, and I have my iPad. I'm going to open up the Sketchbook app, and in here I open up to the gallery. I'm going to go down to the plus sign at the bottom, and when I click on it, it gives me options. I'm going to choose Scan Selection. So what that does is it opens up a window and then I have to try to take a picture of my artwork. And if it can detect the artwork, it'll take it on its own or you can manually take the picture by hitting the little button at the side. Once I've taken the picture, uh, you can see I've got some of the background here. That's okay. Down in this left corner, um, I will make sure that you choose black and white. And I can also see what it looks like with a transparent background. That's great. And then if I want to, I can rescan it if I'm not happy, or I can choose done and it'll put it right into my gallery for me to work with. So there it is there. So once it's there, I can open it by clicking on it. And you can see down here in the layers, if I hide the background, you can see the line art has been extracted, but it also got some of that background. So I can either clean it up in here or do it in my other program. I'll show you in here, Autodesk uh, Sketchbook has wonderful tools and I love working in it as well. I can go in to the layer that has the design on it and then I can go into my selection tools and I can just do a square or rectangle selection around the design itself. So that'll get rid of the background. So what I do is I go in to click on the layer I will do cut and then I will create a new layer and I will paste. And now the new layer only has the part I want. So I can turn off that background and it's gone. So now this is one way to get it out of here. So if I want to take it into another app, I click on the layer, I hit copy, and then I exit that app and I'll go back into Procreate, which is where I want to put it. I'm going to create a new document because that's the way I like to do it. You can import it the way that it is, but I want to create a new document to control my resolution. And down here you'll go paste from clipboard because that's where we put it. There it is. I go into my layers and it is sitting as a transparent background. Now because it was a black and white scan, you're going to see, it's hard to see here on the screen, but there are little specks there. One way to get rid of that is to go into the layer, go into selection, hit automatic. And if I hit the hot automatic around the outside, it shows you those little specks. So the best way to do that is to clear that selection and they're gone. So it basically just deleted everything that was outside the border of my design. Now because it was a scan of a drawing that I did quite a while ago, the ink has kind of faded. It wasn't the best marker that I used. Now how can I fix that if I want this to be nice and crisp in my drawing? Well I'll show you fairly simple here. You go into the layers and I'm going to duplicate it. So I have those bottom two layers. I'm going to keep those. So I'm going to duplicate this drawing about four times and then I'm going to select them all and merge them together and look how it intensified the black. It basically fills in all the gaps. So this is the way it was, and then this is the way it is after I duplicated it and merged them. So that's a great way to get a much more intense uh, filled in look to your lines. And again, because it's on its own layer, if I go onto that layer and I can choose any pen that I want to and use the black ink, I can intensify any of these lines that I feel are too faded or didn't come through properly. So I can just fix up my design that way. The nice thing is you rarely get a perfect scan of a hand-drawn image. So it's nice to be able just to fix this up. Perhaps I'll change my mind and take out some detail that I don't want in there. I can even use a sketch brush, which makes it look just like the sketch itself with a little bit of faded look. So you have a lot of options there. So one more method I want to show you in Sketchbook. So we're going to go to Sketchbook and it pops up with your design. Up in this top left you click, then you click on Gallery. It saves it to your gallery. Bottom right hand corner, if you click on this, it gives you lots of options. 
and I want to export as a PSD. So there we are, it's exporting. Where does it want me to put it? So I slide across until I find, I could put it to Dropbox. There, I want to put it into Procreate. Sending to Procreate. So now we just wait. When it's done, I close that out and I go into Procreate myself, importing artwork. And then we give it a little bit of time and it's going to pop up. There it is. So it has imported it as a PSD. So there's that layer that I had separated out and my artwork is on its own layer. So you're probably going to end up with a little bit of the graininess just like last time um, because again my drawing was a little older and the piece of paper wasn't the best quality. So I can fix that the same way that I fixed it before. I'm just going to duplicate my layers about four times and then I'm going to merge those four together to get a nice dark fill there. Now because I did that you can see some of the graininess around the outside and I want to clean that up as well. Easy to do. I just go into my layer and I hit selection automatic and choose the outside of the design. Then I go into the layer itself and hit clear and it clears everything that was selected which was all the area that had the grainy part in it. So that cleans up the outside of my work and we're ready to go. The line art is on its own layer. And the nice thing with these apps, they get some really good detail of your artwork. So you can see here where I did stippling, it came through really nicely. So give those two apps a try and let me know in the comments how that works for you and hopefully you have some fun with it. Thanks for joining me and we'll see you soon.